Hi Gemini, it's L here to do your September 2018 love reading. So it's about love. Um, thank you for those who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're starting off with the gemstones here. I don't have all of them. Looks like some, some things are being broken down. Some falsehoods, some things built on shaky ground, false lies whatever i don't know like the ten of cups but it's fake you know but it's now that's being shaken up and broken down almost like a tower moment someone just has an epiphany that this is just not going to work someone gets some knowledge some information about uh whatever and they just know that it's not going to work some of you are contemplating a move a move away from a particular person, job, pers uh, people, entity, location. It's just no stability here. In the terms of there's no emotional stability, there's no respect. It's just, you know, it's a free for all. It's, you're doing what you want to do, they're doing what they want to do. And then you guys are trying to mask it in, oh, we're a happy couple, but there is no happiness here it's just a lot of doing and, and pleasure seeking and a lot of the outward you know appearance some of you concerned only about that and for that and as long as you can keep up the outward front you're okay with maybe a relationship or a job situation or whatever you have friends some family looking in from the outside they don't think it's a good idea whatever that may be for you the truth and clarity is so far from this situation someone won't be honest with Gemini or Gemini won't be honest with someone else Gemini can have two people the other person can have two people or it's just multiple parties here um, be, be very cautious and you know um, thinking about your health Some of you have addictions, you know, whether it's drinking or it's other drugs or it's cigarettes or whatever. Addictions are highlighted here. It's, you know, there are obstacles within the relationship. The relationship, you guys, is so far from each other. You guys, there's so much that's happened. It's hard to get back to a peaceful state. You guys don't even communicate lovingly toward each other. You may try to here and there, but then it just turns back to, I don't like you. Not for real. Anyway. Some of you are doing self-employment. It's scattered, but it's coming together. Yeah, it's coming together. You need to separate. Some of you just know it. And you, you're like contemplating moving. Like I need to move. You need to get away from this person. You may have spoken some truth about how you don't want to be there. Or how you had somebody else. Or how you can get somebody else. Or, or you may have said something in regards to your options, Gemini. I don't know. Um... Love is here for some of you, but it's like obstacles. It's like you guys won't let the ego, the fears, the, you know, being boisterous, um, overly aggressive, needing to be right, not knowing what to say or when to say it. You just won't let that die. There's no vulnerability for some of you. I think this is like another set. There's love there, but there's like no, neither party wants to be vulnerable. Okay, let's move into the cards. Where are we going to start? Let's start here. So we're going to do past, present future energy then we'll just kind of build from that past okay. put those 
back. Future, I mean, present, sorry. Future energy, bottom of the deck, the death card, transformation. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you need to let something just fade out. When we see the death card, we automatically think like, go home and say, it's over, I'm done. Sometimes this is gradual, like you know something is over and you're kind of just letting things gradually die. Um, disconnecting the cord slowly. Um, knowing that there is no hope here, that things need to transform. Normally when things transform, it takes time. Like, um, it's not like that, I mean, it's not overnight. It, it can be, but when we're dealing with other people's feelings and relationship, it, it takes time. It's in regards to your stability. Something that you thought was stable is not stable. Let's see. In the past, we had the Emperor, another a four card. Yeah, about your stability. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. You either, in the past, you like took control over a situation that was just out of control. Another four card. Definitely. And we saw in the stones, like you just completely concerned about the stability. There is none. Um, or it was built in falsehood. Four of Earth. Some of you are just trying to maintain a status that is, you know, it's it's false, it's fake. Like I'm giving the example of being in a relationship and you're putting out to the world that it's just beautiful as roses and butterflies or whatever. Um, being engaged and not having a date or dates get pushed back or you know that this is just not happening but you're still trying to hold on and maintain whatever status quo, whatever stability that is there, you're still trying to hang on to that. Going forward, the star in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. If not, it's just that you now, it's like you had an epiphany. You know, this is not going to work. There is no hope for the situation. There is no healing. There is no restoration. It's not even what I wished for anymore. And some of you are going to let something just gradually fade out and die. Let's get some clarifying cards here. Or someone feels this way about you. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Taurus, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo. It could be any sign though. In the past, what do we have? The Six of Cups, yeah. Uh, uh, some of you, you know that something had to end with maybe a person from your past. Or you had to take control of this situation because it was out of control. You, you had to take your power back. Like you had given up all, like this person just did whatever, said whatever. You guys were doing things to each other, saying things to each other. Like I said, the communication was off. There was either no balance. Someone or something interfered with your relationship in the past. And it took the balance away of, of what you thought was like a perfect relationship. It's the four of earth, the four of earth, and the present. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Some of you are still trying to hold on and maintain something that's just it's lackluster. 
but you're still there. Maybe because you don't feel like you have other options or other options just aren't as good. With the Death card and the King of Swords. Someone, uh, someone else could be holding on to you or vice versa. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra. This could be you, Gemini, cutting something off. Yeah, because it was toxic. Could be with the Capricorn. It was third party. It was toxic. Caused you some betrayal. You guys weren't even communicating with each other in, in any loving fashion. What is the start and reverse going forward? The Queen of Cups. Some of you deal with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. Some of you just know it's no hope here. And you choose to just derail from the situation. Put behind this old partnership and try to manifest something new in your life. Some of you are trying to get rid of an addiction. It's caused you a lot of heartache, heartbreak betrayal um you feel back into a corner you need to get in control of whatever that addiction may be yeah it might be a little backwards you may be trying to manifest before actually taking the leap that means you're already doing something you already have something lined up before you actually take the leap of faith with the fool here and at the bottom of the deck, the three of swords. Some of you are deciding to walk away, to separate, to divorce due to infidelity, a third party situation, problems. Let's see. Some of you in the past thought maybe a kid would rectify the situation, would bring back balance. It did. You had a child, or you wanted a child. Butterfly Oracle cards to give some focus as to what you should be focused on. Dietary change. Yeah, some of you, like I said, your health is at. Um, you know, highlight it here. Maybe you need to look into finding balance within your diet. Vegetarianism, veganism, pescatarianism. I mean, just anything. End of an era. Yeah, something's ended. A windfall. Windfall of money or good luck. Family changes. Someone's deciding to move out of a home and in, into a home. A new baby came into a home. New circumstances. Heavenly signs. It's almost as if you have signs from the universe that change needs to happen okay. wow choose a new direction meditation brings answers forgiveness yeah everybody's been getting that that's a big deal right now recovery nice so your health and what you feel like you're losing with the four of coin here, the four of pentacle. Let go. There's something better. Just split the deck. Uh, you're going to recover from any health related issues. If you have a dietary change. Some of you may be dealing with um, chronic disease or a disease that just doesn't have a cure and that's what this is and uh, but you'll find recovery okay all right 
Gemini, I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity. I know it's not the best reading. You guys have not been having such good luck in love so much. Especially my Gemini woman. Um, get a reading to see what the blocks are. What your, what your blockages are. You know? And if you're finding that you're, you're having a really good love life, then that's a beautiful thing. You shouldn't even be here. Um, if you are finding that it's a little troublesome... There's nothing wrong with going to a therapist or whatever, going where we're trying to figure this thing out. You know, it's sad it, when people just keep coming back to either readings or a therapist or just throwing money at trying to quote unquote figure out what the problem is or what the issues are. And they never make any real change, firstly within themselves and then, of course, in their external environment. That's the sad thing. And that's called insanity. You know, you're doing the same thing expecting change but nothing is changing so I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying that with these readings people are getting a bit of clarity going into their lives and shining the light on them firstly and then the light on the areas in their lives where they can um, you know they can institute the change they can start the change and, and just living a better life because this is what this is really about it's not really just to spy on your partner and confirm that he or her, you know, he or she is cheating. Okay, then it's confirmed, and then what? You just go back home and deal with it. Well, you shouldn't even even confirmed it. Live in oblivion, you know. I don't even know where this is coming from because I really don't even do the whole rant thing. But spirit, I guess spirit wants you to know that you you have to um, you got to change the things about yourself and about maybe the way you've been operating. Start with you first. You can't. Point the finger at someone else, you know, the saying, because there's like, what, four, three fingers pointed back at you, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> why did I have to point it? Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I know that I'm here with you, Gemini, um, fellow air sign. Uh, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Things will get better. Uh, if you need to request a personal reading, all information is below. Send me an email if it's not working out for you over at my website. Um, send a message through Instagram, but send an email. Uh, anyhow, thank you guys. Take care.